one of the commands that God gave me is to love everyone. Thank you. Well, the first year, um, heaven and the other is the end of this question. Let, let us move on to the second question. Uh, before we get to move on, sorry, uh, let us have a question time for this first question, please. Yeah. So, can I ask, I would like to ask you, um, sorry, I forgot your name. Um, it's going to be me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, not Mr. Lee. I got from the mystery is the end of time is like the special thing. So, but I heard. Um, so, I just would like to know the what is your opinion? Do you think it's like the spiritual thing or just physical thing about the is end of thing, end of time? According to the scriptures, it's quite clear. It is. It is not a. Um, um, it's not as a. Um, yes, everything will be destructed. I mean, everything will, will finish one day. Everything. This whole. This, the whole this construction of everything through. Yes, nation will rise against the nation. There will be earthquakes. There will be famine. Even to the point, the Bible says, people will be seeking death. And death will not come to them. The book of Revelation says this. So I, I want to say that 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 it is not just a, a, a spiritual realm. No, it is true. I have to to, to be honest to according to what the, the Holy Bible teaches us says in this you know, according to Christian faith. So it is not imaginative fruit. There is hell and there is heaven. And those who have been faithful uh, with, uh, uh, according to the scriptures, you know, they become sons and daughters of, of heaven, the sons and daughters of God. And those who rejected God completely in their life is eternal condemnation. So Jesus talks about eternal condemnation. He talks also about eternal life. So this, this aspect is, is real, it's not just that imaginative. And do, I do respect my, my brother Peter in his view, uh, but in the view that I'm my, my, of, of understanding the Orthodox view, it is, that is the case. It is it's something that is going to happen. And that's why Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So, by from his words, that heaven and earth will pass away. So, um, and his words will live eternally. Okay. I hope I've answered your question. Okay. 